Okay, so I've been asked by uh, somebody to help them get their uh, some information out of Facebook. They're actually interested in everybody who's attending their event. So, family event, they want to know everybody that's going. So, I'm going to help them out by using a program called FacePager. I'm not an expert in FacePager, but uh, I know how to help them with this particular problem. So, click on the GitHub result and then you want to I'm scrolling down here and you want to look for the releases page and then the latest release was 25 days ago you want to download this executable um, or if you're on Mac you have to get an older version uh, and then just install it once you've installed it open it <laughs> and it will look a bit like this. Mine will be a bit different because I've been playing around with it before. Uh, but not to worry, I'll go through everything that you need to do. The first thing is to create a database. So I'm going to call mine event event A. And so now you've created a database, you want to add a node to that database. So I'll click add node and it'll ask you for object ID. So the object ID that we want is the ID of the event that we want to get all the people who have uh, who are attending. So you want to go to your events page. I'm just going to find one. I'm going to go to Indie Tracks, whatever this is. Uh, anyway, there's uh, 428 people. 28 people are going. So um, if you look at the URL in the top bar here. It will be a number next to events. That number is your node ID. So go back to face pager, paste it in, click OK, and now you've got uh, an object ID. So now you want to get all the people who are attending, the 400 and something people. And to do this, we look at these options down here. So the first one should be set already for you. Uh, this v.2.2 is the version of the API and that's an old version but we're going to go with it because that's the default that face page uses but there's no problem to change it to a newer one 2.9 is the latest uh, and then we need to change what we're after so this little bit here in the brackets is the type of object that we're using uh, as is an event so we can scroll down oh they're already here to the event uh, options so we want first we'll go for all the people that are attending um that's okay we can leave that as it is all it's it's saying is the object id uh is this event bit here which to the that's fine um the maximum pages yours might be on one now pages are the results that facebook give you and they normally give you 20 a page i think by default uh, so if I pressed go and that was one, we'd get 20 people who are attending, but we know there's 400 and something people. So I've bumped this to a ridiculously high number. Um, you know, it doesn't need to be that high if there's only 400 people attending, but I've left it at 500. Uh, then you, the finally, the last thing you need to do is log into Facebook. So click that and then log in. And then once you've logged in, this will... Uh, close on its own. I've already done it, so I'm not doing it again. Uh, and it'll also generate an access token for you. You can leave all this empty for now. Uh, that's log. Yours will be empty. This will give you information about what's happening. Uh, then just click fetch data. So this should get up to about 400 if there's 400 people attending. Okay, so if I uh, look now, there's a little arrow there. And so I've got a list of all the people who are attending. So what I'm going to do is just do something very quick with this. I'm going to select them all by clicking the top one. So not the seed one, the first data one. Going to the bottom and then clicking the second from bottom, not the off cut, but the second from bottom. I'm pressing shift, click. Uh, and that's selected them all. And then I'm going to export this to something that Excel can understand. So 
I'm going to export it to my desktop. I'm going to call it uh, people and I'm going to change this separator to uh, a comma. I think by default Excel uses a comma. I'm going to click save. And then on my desktop I'm going to open people. So I've now opened people.csv and what I'm going to do is get rid of all the columns that are no good for me. I'm going to keep object ID, the person's name and whether they're attending or not. And so what might be useful is if this is a family event is to also get the Facebook page uh, that that belongs to that person. So I'm going to insert a new row called Facebook page uh, and these numbers here are object IDs uh, for Facebook and if you go to one, so this is the one for a guy called James uh, if I copy one, sorry go on to Facebook uh, and go to facebook.com and then the ID uh, don't forget to put the slash it takes you to the Facebook page for that person so I'm going to very quickly create a column which has uh, all the Facebook pages URLs in so to make this I just put the equal sign open uh, the brackets and then put in quotes HTTP all that stuff and then www.facebook.com and then don't forget to put in slash and then close the quotes and then put and and then whichever column this is left in so a it's in column a uh two press oh yeah i mean i made a mistake there i forgot to close the uh, the brackets before I pressed return but if you do that it'll just fix it like it did for me uh, and then press this little square at the bottom double click it and I now have everyone's Facebook page as well uh, but if I try to copy that you get this don't you so you might want to just copy that column put it in E uh, actually and then in this little paste thing that comes up paste the values only and then you can copy that you can probably delete this one and so that's how you get everyone that's attending if you want other things uh, you just you can delete these it might take a second so delete them all uh, if I click that go all the way to the bottom press shift again click delete nodes might take a little second uh, but you can do other stuff um, down here in the resource you can press this little arrow and pick um, other things so you might not want attending you might want invited uh, but what's interesting is if you click on the event so where oh, I've lost the event now <laughs> but the event have people who are interested in going so you can get a list of all the people that are interested but in face pager if you look we'll hang on for a second for this to finish so I'll click the seed click the resource and I can pick people who uh, have been invited, declined, whatever. But it, uh, you'll notice that interested isn't there. So, so what what you can do? Uh, also, I've been looking at the API. If you're a bit more techy and you want to look at this documentation, I was in the in the API for an event, and I noticed that there is uh, there is somewhere. an interested uh, edge but it's just not in face pager so if that kind of thing happens just type in interested in this resource uh, again 500 click fetch data 
there. Now, there was a lot more than 400... Uh, yeah, I think there was 500 people interested, wasn't there? 500 and something? Uh, so maybe you were running a huge uh, family event. You won't know people who are interested who haven't said yes, they'll come back. Uh, there we go. And I can do the same again. These are all people who are interested and I can just export them and do the same. Um, same kind of thing in Excel. And that's it really. You might as well play around with what other stuff you can get. You're interested, you, you you want to play with the event bit, don't forget to just delete stuff, try again, whatever, hope it's useful.